Masvidal, according to court documents, struck Covington with a deadly weapon, his hands or fist, two times and caused great bodily harm, a brain injury. So what exactly is this brain injury? Well, the story starts with Masvidal ambushing Kobe Covington from behind with a punch. Since Kobe took that punch from behind unaware, it's even more likely that it caused a concussion. The biggest misconception about a concussion is that you gotta get knocked out to get the concussion. The fact is, most concussions don't even involve loss of consciousness. A concussion can present as either confusion or loss of memory that is amnesia or loss of consciousness or even have a very vague presentation. The second biggest misconception is that most concussions are some kind of a prolonged illness that lasts for several weeks after the trauma. So contrary to popular belief, most concussions are mild grade 1 which means there is no loss of consciousness and symptoms last for less than 15 to 30 minutes. A concussion is sustained right at the time of trauma and usually resolves quickly. So Kobe Covington looking alright right after the incident in this footage has nothing to do with whether he got concussed or not. It just indicates that the concussion was very brief as it usually is. That is grade 1 mild concussion. Now sometimes but not infrequently the symptoms of a concussion can last for several weeks and take a long time to recover which is when we call it a post-concussion syndrome. A post-concussion syndrome is a loosely defined constellation of symptoms persisting for a prolonged period of injury and this is the most important part, exacerbated in some patients by the potential of secondary gain, that is compensation. Now is Kobe trying to frame a case of post-concussion syndrome for the potential of secondary gain, that is monetary gain in the court? Let me know what you guys think in the comments. Thank you.